Hello and a very warm welcome to the Insider Essay, your guide to living better. Join us this week as we celebrate South African greats with global appeal. Discover popular overseas tourist destinations with Miss Soweto 2020 Tobile Stain and First Princess Anati Konjwa. Explore Langaban with adventurer, conservationist and universal man of the ocean, Chris Bertish. See how entrepreneur and international MC Maps Maponyane balances his busy lifestyle. Meet global citizen Gloria Ahrens in Switzerland and experience the beauty of her Enigma mansion in Cape Town. Leading actor Tapelo Mokwena invites us into his Serbian-inspired restaurant at the cradle of humankind. And dedicated dad Lindo Sitole shares his parenting skills with adorable son Valdo. Spending a day in the iconic Soweto in Gauteng, we join Miss Soweto 2020 Tobile Stain and First Princess Anati Konjwa to explore the history that's made this an international tourist destination. Hi guys, my name is Tobile Stain, you're Miss Soweto 2020 and this is Anati Konjwa, your First Princess. And today we're in Soweto at Lebo Soweto's Backpackers and what are we doing here today Anati? Today we're here to submerge ourselves into the culture that is e Soweto. Mamela, just you know, submerge ourselves, mm -mm. be one with the place. Uh -uh. Already? Andy, ready, son, are you Masambe. ready? Masambe. <laughs> We're gonna grab a helmet, we're gonna pick a bicycle and take it for a little spin. If you're not happy with it, bring it back. Let's choose another one. If you need my assistance, I'm calling. I entered Miss Soweto because at first it was like a joke. It was like a haha, let's see if I get in. Made it into the top 40, made it into the top 20, and it became about representing different bodies because Soweto is incredibly diverse and I think it needs to be represented well. I entered because my mom felt like I was too much of a tomboy and she was like, girl, you need to start acting more girly. And only to find out that it was actually cool. It was a nice experience and you could use this platform, you know, for bigger and greater things, man. Orlando West was the site of the 1976 Youth Uprising, now commemorated by Youth Day on June 16th. The Hector Peterson Memorial this is a national heritage site, guys. It takes us back all the way to 1976, on the 16th of June, when students sacrificed their lives for better education, for also the downfall of Vizinda's Fana Nabo Bandu education. The students felt that now the government was meddling in the upbringing and the educating of an African child. Vilakazi Street is known for being a road where two Nobel Peace Prize winners had homes. Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu and former President Nelson Mandela. House number 8115, the house of Utata Nelson Mandela. Today this house is a museum, is owned by the Soweto Heritage Trust. Okay. The Heritage Trust uses proceeds from here to give back to various charities around the Soweto. Okay. But the history of this house, Bafetu, is deep. This is the first house Utata Mandela lived in. Mm -hmm. This is also the house that he writes about in his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, where he expressed the joys of this house by saying, a man is not a man, not until he has a place of his own to call home. After the 27 years that Umadiba was incarcerated, when he was released on the 11th of February, 1990, this is the same property he came back to. Sadly though, when he came back, he could not live here long, a little under 11 days. For security reasons, sadly he had to move. It's a humongous part of our, our history as you know South Africans. And so when you get reminders of it, you're never gonna lose the essence of where you come from and where our democracy comes from. The outdoor restaurant at Lebo Soweto offers traditional South African cuisine served in this vibrant setting. Okay, ladies, here we come. We're gonna start cooking our chicken, which is chicken stew. And then we're gonna make chakalaka and we're gonna cook some traditional spinach and pap. 
Okay, Mama, this looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. I cannot wait to try it out. Absolutely, let's get started. Yeah. You can start peeling the potatoes and you're going to do the papers for me. Okay. So, Mama, why do you love cooking? Every day when I do it, I fall in love with cooking. I want to do some experiments. I want to experience something new. That is why I harvest from my garden that mm. I've just planted in front of the kitchen there. Mm. And I've always tried to do new things, mm -hmm. trying to live an organic life. I think it's important to support local businesses, especially during COVID times, because we need to be reminded of hope. You know, mm -hmm. reminded that oh, there are still people who are going to support, there are still people who see you, who see your business, who celebrate the work that you've done and that you've achieved. Mm -hmm. When we support local businesses, we do give back to the community and people are able to keep their jobs. Yeah. And people are still able to support their families, give them stability. Yeah. Have you ever cooked an open fire before? I have attempted, Mama. I've sort of watched my aunt cook in front of an open fire. Same. So how do you feel today? Look, it's a very emotional person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see. I mean, it's very I mean, emotional you know, person. It's, it, it's just about the wind coming this right. way. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. because the fireplace is round, you can always you know, move around, stream, move around, around and so, enjoy it. I do believe that cooking over a fire is a great way to celebrate tradition. I think it's in remembrance of mm -hmm. where we are, yeah, mm -hmm. also where we come from. from. Yeah. And it's also nice to just kind of go down memory lane, you know? Mm -hmm. The meal in total is absolutely incredible. I am having a party in my mouth. Also, I think how it tastes has to do with how it was cooked. I have to agree with you. It reminds me of the olden days when Aboma Kulu they used to cook for us, and then this is exactly what we used to taste back then. For many of us, where we're from tells the story of who we are. The community of Soweto is special to me because it reminds me of my grandmother and the time that I spent with her before she passed on and how the neighborhood in general, whenever you need something in Soweto, you don't have to go far. You can just go to your neighbor and say, Tie, Karibisi, you know, how we're always helping each other. I think even the people of Soweto, when they look at me, they always say, Mangule Straten, they always say, we raised this child. This is a child from our Gassi. So I feel like I really loved and enjoyed this tour because it took me way back, man. It touched my heart. It is a remembrance of courage. Mm -hmm. I think this tour today reminded me of the courage that is Isoweto, mm -hmm. of the fight that is Isoweto. Mm -hmm. Also Isoweto, like you said, is a community of Ubuntu. Singabantu, Ngabantu, Sibang, Akanji, Sukuliswe, Isoweto. So that's why it's so special. It's, it's home. Yeah. Home. Tobile Stain and Anati Gonjwa are proud ambassadors for the history and heritage of the place they call home. Coming up, travel to Langabarn with international adventurer Chris Bertish and spend a day with Maps Maponyane. Chris Bertish is a true South African grace. This speaker, author, waterman, philanthropist and world record breaker was born and raised in Cape Town, spending a lot of time coming here to the West Coast. My name is Chris Bertish and welcome to our family home in Langebaan, Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, so my dad had uh, bought this property about 50 years ago, it was a couple of years before I was born. and. Um, very, very lucky to get it. It was one of the first eight houses in Langebaan, and it was literally just a little asbestos shack. A lot of my time spent on the ocean here, uh, sailing with my dad, water skiing here, windsurfing here, pretty much everything in the ocean. Um, you know, he built the first ever catamaran in South Africa, which was called the Tie 4. So let's go inside the house and I'll show you and give you a little bit of a guided tour of how it all unfolded. Uh, this is one of my mini guitars, which I have become very good at playing really badly at. <laughs> and this is pretty much my workstation. Um, I do a lot of my writing and build all my talks and stuff from this location. It's a pretty incredible space to be able to write from, build talks from, and figure out ways to create incredible projects that create an amazing impact and inspire positive change. And this is sort of like a wall of fame. <laughs> which is a picture of my dad and his close friend Spike, who used to sail 
and race together a lot. You know, my dad was always a massive inspiration to me and he was, as far as I was concerned, when I was growing up, was like the ultimate waterman. I became so comfortable sailing with him from the age of three out here and all around this whole area that by the time I was like seven years old, like the ocean was my home. And then this is a, a little map chart of Langebaan and the whole of Soldana Bay. Um, Langebaan is very unique. It's the biggest ocean lagoon in the southern hemisphere, and which means that it's open to the sea. And this is the Langebaan or Soldana mouth. Yeah, Friday Island is a pretty special little restaurant and um, coffee place in the mornings. I know they do lunches and evening dinners and stuff, but for me, I often come here in the morning and get some work done, um, have a coffee, breakfast, observe what's happening in the ocean, um, and then that sort of sets up my day. Chris's oldest brother, Greg, and I are the same age, and I met Greg in Sabe, and then I met him on the beach in Langebon. And like all the kids here, all of us did everything. I mean, everything your dad was into or your friend's dad were into, you do, and Keith, Chris's dad was amazing because he was just one of those out there dads who could do it all. And I think Chris's strength is he's a polyathlete. He can do almost every single water sport since he was a little, little guy. And the synergy of all those sports is what you see today in his adaptability to all the other sports. There are a lot of different other ocean crafts that I use and explore during my journey, but um Really starting from the conventional surfboard. I've been surfing probably from the age of about 10 years old, nine years old. I started sailing in Langebaan with my dad, probably at the age of three years old on the first ever catamaran that he built. Then I got into stand-up paddle boarding. This is what's called the open ocean boards, which is a 14 footer. And then obviously you got sort of more the progression into new technology and the sort of latest cutting edge sports, which is using the hydrofoil, and this is to be able to ride up above the water. Um, it taps into the most pure source energy of the ocean. And then this is what's called a wing foil board, but you actually hold it like a windsurfer and you ride above the ocean as well. Um, also using the same foil technology, except for you riding with the power of the wind. So my next adventure is the Transpac Wing Project, which we just um, did the start of two months ago in California where we broke a world record for wing foiling solo line supported from Half Moon Bay to Morro Bay over 220 miles. We raised a whole lot of money for conservation and education, and that was just a tester for doing the whole Trans-Pacific from California to Hawaii, which no one's ever done before, and we're gonna do ocean-themed classrooms, and it'll be something that's completely unique. The record was, I think, 35 miles. We're gonna do 2,500 miles and um, inspire lots of positive change and give back to inspiration, education, conservation, people and planet. Chris has released two movies that tell the stories of his incredible adventures, Ocean Driven and more recently, Last Known Coordinates. This is actually my second film. The first film was called Ocean Driven, uh, which came out in 2015, which was about my big wave journey to surfing competing and winning Mavericks. And then Last Known Coordinates is the new film that's just come out. Um, but it's been a five year journey in the making. But I think it identifies with a lot of people because it's really raw, it's very authentic, it's very real, and it's very powerful and it's very inspiring. And I think, um, you know, the world needs hope and courage and resilience and inspiration now more than ever with COVID. And I think this story resonates with people because of that. You know, everything that I do is about inspiring positive change in others and inspiring the greatest potential. And everything that I do also gives back to education by highlighting climate change issues, getting down to carbon net zero by 2030, protecting 30% of our oceans by 2030, which is um, an incredible initiative um, that we all should be really concerned about because without the ocean, we all, are, we all don't survive. So we've got to protect it and respect it and that's what we're here to do, is to inspire kids to believe in that and to be able to go out and be the change of the future. Chris Burtish lives by the motto, dream it, see it, believe and achieve it. Inspiring others to realize their full potential makes him a South African great whose achievements are recognized around the world. 
No stranger to the Insider SA family, Maps Maponyane is a media personality, philanthropist and entrepreneur who shows us how being a Vodacom Red VIP helps with his dynamic lifestyle. Hey Insider SA, welcome to my hotel room. This has become my home away from home whenever I'm in Cape Town and this is a snippet of a day in my life. As an entrepreneur, at a time like this, things are a little bit more unpredictable and there's a lot of fear in the unknown. So I found the best way to start my day is with a good cup of coffee and stay calm. Currently, I've got quite a bit on within the entertainment as well as the entrepreneurial business space. In entertainment, well, I've got something pretty cool coming up. It's a movie called Courting Anati, which I worked on behind the scenes as an executive producer uh, together with Terry Peto. You know, before the pandemic, things were probably a lot simpler. And now, although they're a little bit trickier, we've had to adapt a whole lot more so that we can easily adapt our lives into what have become new times and of course, the new norm. But all we need now is just a really good connection and great technical support because of course, everything has moved online. With Vodacom Red VIP, I'm able to get through the day a whole lot easier than I could possibly expect. I don't have to worry about having any data issues because I get about 100 gigs a month on the Red VIP flagship plan and I'm able to use that to my heart's desires to perform all the tasks that I need to perform. Because of the plan and the benefits that come with it, whenever I'm traveling and on the go, I get discounts on my flights. And when I check into certain hotel groups, I can get a little bit of a percentage off my hotels. And thanks to unlimited talk time, I can stay connected to both my family and my businesses. This is probably one of the distinctly different things about this time, the amount of screen time that we all find ourselves having. And personally, I find myself behind the screen, be it my mobile phone or laptop, a whole lot more throughout my day than ever before. But it allows me to run my businesses as efficiently as possible from a distance. And even when it comes to my restaurants, when I'm not around, if I need to be able to perform certain tasks from my laptop, all I need is good connection and connectivity as a whole. This is the new way. And I don't have to worry if I'm not at home on my super fast Vodacom business Wi-Fi. I can pretty much connect from wherever I am, just simply by my cell phone to my laptop via hotspot. No issues whatsoever. And that lets me be as efficient as possible. What inspires me is honestly so much that is around me. It's the ability to be able to tap into my potential and know that I can possibly realize it. I'm such a curious person who always wants to be able to tap into their various interests. And you know, it really, really excites me to be able to firstly think that I can do a certain thing and then of course go ahead and make it happen. So you're probably wondering why I'm in this kit while holding my tablet and that's because at some point in my day I like to make sure that I can get in some exercise, especially from the mornings. It's really important for me to try and stay fit, to try and stay healthy and to get my mind flowing and those endorphins going so that I can work at an optimal level and feel my best from day to day so that I can take each and every day on. Sweat 1000 partnered with Vodacom Red and they offered three months free subscription to all of Vodacom Red's customers and that's how I found out about it and it's something that was very useful for me especially with trying to figure out ways of staying in shape and staying motivated and this has definitely been one of those benefits I definitely can't deny. Please may I have your um, flu shot? The flu shot, yes. The peanut butter bomb? The peanut butter bomb, a small one. A small one, thank okay. you. And, and Prince wrap. Yes, I've got the app with Vodacom VIP. All right. One of the other great things about being a Vodacom Red VIP customer oh, yeah. is that you get a 100 Rand voucher to use at any Kauai. And so that allows me to just come here, get a smoothie, maybe grab a wrap and something a little bit extra and just enjoy the benefits. Thank you for joining me for a day in my life with of course the benefits of Vodacom Red VIP. 
and living life as their clients. It makes things so much easier, so much more efficient, and I hope it makes you think twice about whatever network plan you might be on and to make the switch. Experience Red and unlock more with Vodacom Red. Stand a chance to win one of 10 10 gig data bundles courtesy of at Vodacom. To enter, find the Vodacom post on the Insider SA social pages and comment on the post telling us a benefit you would enjoy experiencing with the Vodacom Red revamped plans. Competition closes at midnight on Saturday, 11th September. Winners will be announced on Expresso on Monday morning, 13th September. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Next on the Insider SA, meet global citizen Gloria Ahrens and explore her beautiful homes in Switzerland and South Africa. Insider SA, connected by Vodacom Red. Switch to a new Vodacom Red plan to unlock more. Completed in 2011, the Enigma Mansion is a trophy home that has played host to superstars and royalty from around the world. Tastemaker Flower Walker is our guide into this world of supreme opulence and beauty. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Gloria and Rob's Cape Town home. My name is Flower, and I'm going to show you around the house today. This house is so special because of the colors and the textures that are inside. It embodies everything that Gloria is so passionate about. Once you get inside, the magic unfolds and you can see all the fixtures and the fittings that have been imported from all over the world, but installed here by our clever artisans in the Cape. Left and right, you have his and her studies to do whatever they need to do best. When you look at the sheer size of this foyer and you think of the majesticness of it all, it culminates in the ceiling, which was all inspired by the universe images of Stephen Hawking, the famous scientist. The painting was done by international artists who were here for months on end, and it really is the piece de resistance. The impressive collection of art and custom design furniture and fittings augment the palatial architecture. What can I say when you walk into a room filled with so many eclectic pieces, furnishings, furniture that is quite unique and unusual to put together? You've got the embossed velvets, you've got the gold, the colors, the pink, the turquoise, the blues. What else can you do to be bold enough to put it together as well as Gloria has? Flowers are a big part of the decor in this house. Be they fresh, be they artificial, be they dry, they're all over. Rolf is an ardent gardener and passionate about all the fresh flowers. And then we come into the reception room. We have this amazing Moroccan tented feeling where we have a Louis XIV antique mirror. We have the amazing, beautiful hand-printed French wallpaper. On the side, we have these wonderful Indian pillars. It is spectacular. The proportions are absolutely amazing. A lifelong relationship with Gloria has placed Flower in a unique position of trust. Well, I've known Gloria for about 40 years. And when Rolf came into her life, they asked me to do their wedding out in Franschhoek. And when they went to live over in Zurich, asked us to please come and bring Africa to the Swiss in Zurich. The Enigma Mansion inspired much of Gloria's decor and design for the couple's chalet in the Swiss Alps. 
My name is Gloria Ahrens. I'm now Tyler. I'm speaking to you from a beautiful little ski village in Switzerland called Klosters, where my husband and I have uh, one of the most beautiful chalets. When I walked through this house, I had an aura, I had a, a spiritual feeling of relaxed warmth amongst the opulence, the beauty. There were so many elements of this house. It was, it was almost too much to believe. And it was the kind of thing where I thought, I've never experienced this in my life before, but it's so beautiful. The home is about luxury for the couple and for their guests. Here we've now arrived in a room that we both love very much. Every single part of this room, which is the wellness that Rolf and I did, for me was inspired by the home in Cape Town. All these things I got in South Africa and what we also wanted to do was create a living room with a pool. She's brought many of her favorite objects from South Africa to this Swiss mountain retreat. These are one of the lamps that I brought in from South Africa. It's clean, but there's so much movement. I love movement. And this is why I love this one, amongst all the others that I have as well. Wherever she lives, Gloria makes sure the landscapes are world-class. Gardens are extremely, extremely important to Rolf and I in all our homes. This one I needed to create in the mountains and cloisters. I wanted a lot of peace. And we also have stones that we'd collected from all over the world. There's always a connection between the garden here and the garden in Cape Town. It's what we love best. When I'm not in the kitchen cooking, I'm outside in the garden with my husband. Heading back to South Africa, it's clear that Gloria and Rolf love to entertain. This dining room, of course, epitomizes Rolf and Gloria's lifestyle. It shows exactly how much they enjoy entertaining friends from all over the world and many of wonderful conversations been had around their dining tables. We've had so many charitable events, be they for the old, for the young, for the cultural or for the sport, they're always involved and willing to give. Guests who stay here are treated to breakfast, lunch and dinner menus served by acclaimed chef Richard Chamberlain. Well, this magnificent kitchen is of course testimony to Gloria's passion for cooking. And if you look around the textures and all the colors that have been incorporated, including, please just check this amazing 200 year old marble fireplace come from England and it's still working. What a special ambiance in a place that is so often the most sought after place in the house. Putting this wonderful kitchen to good use, Gloria cooks up a storm whenever she's in town. The kitchen, for me, is my place. My husband has his place, which is our beautiful, massive living room, whereas I love to spend my time in my magnificent kitchen. This beautiful, gilded, gold, chandeliered, copper-potted, beautiful kitchen. I love to cook, so this is where I love to be most of the time. And here we have this marvelous master bedroom. What could be better than waking up with the ocean on the outside and all these magnificent blues on the inside? There's the turquoise couch, blue scatters. There's an incredible bedspread. Just look at the texture of the embossed velvets again. And then to crown it all, the fuchsia and the gold wallpaper combined in true Gloria style. This incredible master suite is flanked on the left by his bathroom and on the right by hers. And in this bathroom is the most amazing mirror that is surrounded by fabulous flowers. 
House Manager Grand Press understands what's needed to manage a property of this stature. I love my job. It is daunting at times, you know, because the property is multifaceted. You know, there are many different elements and one of them obviously are the expansive gardens, you know, which extend from one, one street to the other. And we have water features, we have a swimming pool. It has a square meterage of about 1,600 square meters, the, the main residence behind me. We also have wonderful spacious living areas that open onto terraces like this with glorious views to the, the Atlantic Ocean. The expansive gardens of the estate have wonderful areas because one of them is the swimming pool which is is modeled on the Versace swimming pool in Miami and it's quite a talking point it's obviously you know been featured in a number of shoots we've had here at the house but definitely a talking point and quite a quite a wonderful thing to see when you visit the home Enigma's old world charm is coupled with state-of-the-art modern convenience believe it or not the home actually beats to the rhythm of a technological heart we have um, 38 tablets throughout the home, you know, and these tablets can be used to control everything from lighting to heating, um, to the air cons, to your media, to your televisions. The house is a smart home and one to rival any. Welcome to the Moulin Rouge, a home cinema like no other, a theater to experience, luxurious, you've got day beds, we've got lounges. We've got beautiful Moroccan pillars and arches. What an exciting experience. Ralph and Gloria have built a property portfolio that appeals to visitors from all over the world. I think I want whoever shares the experience that we have in this home, I would want them to experience the whole house, everything inside the house, all the rooms, all the beautiful, massively beautiful, opulent things around. That's the experience. And just to have the wonderful spiritual energy of being relaxed in a home like that. It's our home and it's the place what, that we love best. Thank you for spending this time with us in this incredible home. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Most definitely, we've had a wonderful time, and I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into this world we find ourselves in every day. Surrounded by landmarks and the iconic natural beauty of the Western Cape makes the Enigma Mansion a true South African great. Coming up, travel to the cradle of humankind to taste Mediterranean flavors with actor turned restauranteur Tapelo Moquena. South African actor, presenter and producer Tapelo Mukwena has recently expanded his career into the world of food by opening a Serbian-inspired restaurant in the cradle of humankind. Hey, how you doing family? It's Tapelo Mukwena here. Welcome to a day in one of my offices. It's going to be interesting. Come with me. Kind of reminds me a lot of my very own upbringing. I grew up in a very small town a beautiful town called Ladysmith. And yeah, how interesting that life brings it completely full circle. And now I'm in a work environment that needs me to be exposed to this kind of life. So you obviously know me for my acting. Acting being my passion, my life, my freedom, really, because I get a chance to get out of myself, forget about myself. I hate being in my head half the time, but there's a lot going on in my head, so I kind of need to live there. So it's a cash 22, but acting provides me that escape. You know, embodying other people's problems, other people's triumphs and victories has become really a professional getaway for me. I get paid to do it, so that doesn't hurt. So we could go on about acting all day. That journey never stops, and you guys have been a great part of my support system throughout my journey, and I'm appreciative of that. But life does go on, man must expand, and I've moved into other territories, as you know, and my current one, my most special baby right now, is an amazing restaurant in the heart of the cradle of humankind. Come see this. 
partnering with close friend and chef Milan Sinimaj. The duo opened this new space inspired by the flavors of the Mediterranean. My well, name is Molitva, means prayer. Me and Tavs go quite of some time back and uh, decided to do this venture together. I never knew that the palace name means Molitva as well, which is a prayer. Which is a prayer. Yeah, and so yeah. a lot of people think we got something more serious on the side going on, me and him. <laughs> Personal level, that's not that. <laughs> this, where we are now, is the entrance of our restaurant and our space. So when people walk in here, they park their cars, they walk through the garden. Our pantry. Our pantry. And this is where we get motivated. This is how the meze boards get built. This yeah. is where the chefs come a few times a week yeah. to get inspiration. We all allowed to choose recipes. We all criticize each other, we all taste each other's recipes, and it makes the everyday life quite Quite interesting, because yeah. I mean, it's that exchange and that sharing of ideas in the kitchen, which somehow speaks to the idea of life, right? Combining efforts to come up with something big. Why this location? Why? Because it's nature, it's outdoor, it's cradle of humankind, yeah. best of Africa, that's why. Under the beautiful African sky. You know, we spend so much time in the city. This is a great option. Escape. Escape a bit, you know. <laughs> That's why we call it a destination. It's not just a restaurant, it's a destination. Let's go make some food. Let's go, man. All right, come see the space. All right, the Insider SA fam, welcome to Molitva. This is just one side of Molitva, phase one, which is what we're launching today. And um, yeah, the whole theme is Mediterranean Orthodox, and he'll tell you a little bit more about what that is. This is the way we grew up back at home in Serbia. We had a lot of different small meals and uh, big families. So we would get to experience a lot of different cuisines and types of food in one sitting. And I really am for that. And that's the reason we did the Mediterranean. Mediterranean stretches all the way from Israel, Lebanon. It goes all the way down to Spain and it carries on down to now down East, to Africa, Turkey. Right? Yeah. And now it's in Africa and we do have a lot of influence from Africa in our restaurant. And uh, yeah, man, we're not shy to show off the best that Africa has to offer as well. It's quite a global influence to the way we approach food. We've done the same with our deco. Very clean, the hues of blue that speak to different cultures, whether it's a bit of um, Greek, a bit of Belgium, a bit of Serbia, and a bit of South Africa. So welcome to a clash of cultures in one space under the African sun. We got a menu which is quite substantial for everybody's taste buds, but we also do a meze, lots of little different things that we get motivated from the garden, from our butcher next door, from our fish panga, and so forth. That's where we get our inspiration, that's where we create magic. For our launch later on, we'll be doing a spread of many different things, meze, we call it the train. But for now, I'm gonna show you one of the dishes we'll be serving this afternoon. We'll be taking some ricotta, I'm gonna cram it on the plate, spreading it out, just gently all over. From there, we're gonna be uh, dressing it up with a little bit of parma, a little bit of greens. We're gonna be doing some balsamic reduction, some olive oil, and some fruits with it, seasoning it and serving it. And that's it, ricotta parma ready. I love food, I love feeding people. As you can see, I like eating myself as well. So yeah, that was it, passion from the word go. Finally, the moment is here, ladies and gentlemen. So exciting, so nervous, but at the same time, very happy because the sun came out to play. I can't wait to see some of my industry friends. I cannot wait to share a drink with my partners. I cannot wait to taste Milan's amazing food. This is Molitva. Let's go. Man, Molitva is absolutely amazing. The food is excellent, the vibe is great. I don't know if you can see. You know, people are having a good time, the drinks are flowing, the starters are amazing, the mains. I mean, I'm just, yeah, really happy to be here. Tabs is my very, very dear friend. I, I keep my industry friends, I can count them in one hand, and he's one of my closest. He's a big brother to me. He's a fellow businessman as well. He's also a mentor in a way. He doesn't know this, but I watch him and I learn so much from him and I'm like, wow, you know? And I'm his number one fan. So I'm always here and supported with my friends. I've been here since day one. I come here, this is my solitude. This is where I run to, especially after my hikes. But yeah, we became friends on the set of Broken Vows. Way back, way back. 
I'm a village girl. I think because Tapelo also, we come from Cape and it's also a village boy. So the thing of watching the natural landscape and the trees and the, it just brings back like family, home memories. And from being an actor and a producer and now this great entrepreneur, it's amazing. So being here, I'm really, really here to celebrate him. And the thing is, it's my birthday. You know what I mean? So I, I, I had to come. This is a true reflection of family, which is the standards that they live by, you understand? So meeting all these people means we're solidifying relationships and we're solidifying contacts and just people pitching up when they're called to. It's a beautiful thing. It's called support. I love the restaurant because of how far it is from the city, but it's actually just around the corner, do you know what I mean? The cradle of humankind, and as you can see, it's a gorgeous place, and the whole Mediterranean feel and all of that, it's really nice. So yeah, we're having a good time. I enjoy the experience very much. Anytime you want to create happy memories, you know where to find us. I'm so happy right now. Africa for life. Salute. Next on The Insider SA, content creator and proud dad Lindo Sitole shares how he uses his skills to live better. Sponsored by Capitech. Simplify banking. Live better. Capitech client Lindo Sitole first stepped into the spotlight with Kwaito band The Teddy Bears. After making the move to go solo, further opportunities as a TV presenter and social media influencer quickly followed. But for Lindo, no job is more important than raising his son, Valdo. We catch up with father and son in their home in Joburg. Oh, what's good? This is your boy Lindo, aka Baba Gavaldo Bafetu. Yanamugela, Eda Jenny Lami, Plomen and Pinchami, Utsu Shorts. We're basically working on our brand new single titled Itemba. We're giving hope to the people. I'm a musician, I'm an influencer, I'm a TV host, I'm a full time father. What do I enjoy most about the work that I do? It's being on stage. I love being on stage. I love performing. I love my music. I'm going for seven at three o'clock. It's April. There's a show. I'll make sure I'm there and I'll give my 100%. What keeps me going? I'm going to So I'm going to experience a life. Like I've been through so much. I'm going to be in corner and if you can say something productive, I feel like it's easy to get to the same level. Balancing work and home life, that's a tough one. But I always make sure that I'm always there in the same thing because it's my priority. So if maybe there's a booking and it's during the week, I'm going to go unless it's between 9 and 12.30. Because at one, I have to go pick him up at school. So one of my challenges is not face and now. Sometimes we don't lose him mind. But hey, we need you at one o'clock. If it's Monday to Friday, I need to be available. So it, it, it's tough, but it's The inspiration behind creating content for social media, um, they know which I've been posting videos and pictures of myself and my son. And it just happened that one of the videos went viral. We were just dancing in Spantula, dancing to no music, even worse. And I posted the video on Twitter and people went crazy over the video and they started requesting for more videos. It has inspired a lot of amateurs and even females as well, because one wish would you like it's very refreshing bona umchi that taking care of in Osiake, ya one actual legi lut umchi the Ochala Ningosiake like full time twenty four seven. So Baninga Bantu who are very inspired. But I always say I won't give credit to myself, I'm just doing my duty. I always give credit to God with okay, like we end up planning with okay, I want you to be this guy and change the narrative with society. So no, even number chance they can take care of us. 
I like my dad and also... Um, why do you like me? You know why? Mm, I don't know. Because you take care of me. Wait, no, no. Serious? Yes. John Manjen. Ah, John If family is very important, give me as Ubaba. I think Monga and I family, there's always something missing. Like I always treat if family um, as my priority, not just my son, but my mom, including my sister. I make sure we see if family in Bapata Gashumanje and Zotinje Chegangani to go buy a gift for my mom at this camp. And we are the young Amacha Chizwe, we keep it take a low song. I was in Jogu Spend and Jagashigab Nand. Capitec has always believed in enabling every single South African to save. Okay. So what we've done recently is launched our Live Better program, and with that comes our Live Better savings account. And how now, does it work? What it does is it actually enables clients to save for themselves, okay. as well as save through our partners like Discam. Let me show you. Oh, okay. Cool. So log into your app. Let's click on Live Better Savings. Live Better Savings. This particular account comes with some really cool tools. So we have automatic savings tools, okay. Roundup and Interest Sweep. Now Roundup is really great. What you do is if you turn it on, you have the option to round up to either two, five or 10 Rand. And how it works is every time you transact at a store, it'll automatically round the transaction up by that value. So let's say you chose two Rand, you buy something for 51, it'll round it up to 52 Rand and the difference, which is one Rand, will get transferred into your Live Better Savings account where it earns extra interest. In addition to that, we've got the interest sweep function. Any interest that you might have accumulated in your main account over the course of the month actually automatically transfers into your Live Better Savings account at the beginning of the next month. So it's like saving on autopilot and it's a great way to keep those little bits of money aside for a rainy day. So you actually can't deposit money into this account yourself, but if you turn on the tools, and you shop at our partners, you instantly earn cash into the Live Better Savings account itself. For real? And the kicker is that it earns 3.25% interest, which is a whole 1% more than a normal Global One account. Wow. Can I join? Yeah, every single Capitech client can join for free. And then you're away. You can turn on your automatic savings tools, or you can start shopping at Discount. Then I'm sorted. <laughs> I'm very excited about the relationship and the partnership that we have now with Capitec Bank because it's going to give extra value, it's going to give an extra 2% to our Capitec customers. As with our benefit program, where we also have loyalty points for the customers to earn and to save, and a portion of the spend goes towards the Diskim Foundation to help those in need amongst our communities. The Dischem Pharmacy and Capitec partnership also extends to the Baby City stores. So you can also earn and spend in Baby City as well as Dischem Pharmacies. We believe in creating long-term strategic partnerships with like-minded organizations and we believe Dischem is one of them. By doing this, we're able to really enable our clients for the little things that they do every day, just on their monthly essentials. They will get tangible cash back that really ultimately helps them save and live better. I think in Ghana, it is came with money or when shopping, me as good in Ghana and Shona group because the information more Ghana from him young, you are calling one to come cosmetics, such a la la, and stuff's a corner, it's quality. As Bonnell and Jenna is in Dengis Tolil and I'm Shanje, and using a convenient Tolila like my mom, a nice lavender fragrance soap. For over over long in Tolilis in Desim Nandi are cool. There was one to an again like more in the shopping, one made with um Tolila, my is Gashaging is busy, I'm a reward. Who by client a capitec, especially Moza, also in the shopping at this camp, with Nama benefits or at Holayo, with a percentage or it's Holayo, with a discount. So our values are to find everyday partners that add value to every single client within our Capitec landscape. So watch this space. We're going to be bringing some very new, exciting things in the future. All Capitec clients get 2% cash back in store at Dischem and Baby City when you pay with your Capitec card. Simply activate your Live Better Savings account on the Capitec app. 
to stand a chance of winning a 1,000 Rand cash prize to spend at either Dischem or Baby City. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag LiveBetter. T's and C's apply. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider SA. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.